Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Turbo12. So in this video, we're going to see something about WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is a messaging service which is owned by Facebook and which is, which is being uh, used by more than billions of people around the world. So WhatsApp uses uh, your mobile number as an identification parameter and your mobile device or it can be your uh, any mobile device or any desktop device and we can use it for communication to a person who is registered WhatsApp through their mobile phone numbers. So person who are available in your contact, you will be able to message any person who are available in your contacts. So WhatsApp. So WhatsApp uses something called end-to-end -end encryption. So apart from WhatsApp, there are several other messaging apps like Facebook Messenger, etc. which uses end-to-end -end encryption. So in this video, we are going to see some what is what or how this end-to-end -end encryption works in WhatsApp. And we are also going to address the issue recently which is being created. Like governments all around the world, including government of India, want, needs access to WhatsApp's uh, messages because it is encrypted and encryption. It is end-to-end -end encrypted. There are several criminal activities are going on using this messaging service. So what governments across the world needs is that they want WhatsApp to remove this end-to-end -end encryption or else they want some kind of backdoor in order to access or overlook the messages which has been exchanged between two people around the world. So let's see how this end-to-end -end encryption works in WhatsApp. So again, so this is a simple diagram explaining what is happening in WhatsApp end-to-end -end encryption. So for every classic example of networking, we use two characters, Alice and Bob. So we are going to use the same characters, Alice and Bob. So Alice and Bob are two WhatsApp users who are using WhatsApp in their mobile device or it may be a desktop or laptop. So, uh, Alice, in order for Alice to uh, communicate with Bob, the, it has to pass through a WhatsApp server. So, which is the physical server provided by WhatsApp. So, any message which Alice needs to send to Bob will pass through, uh, will go to WhatsApp server, then it will be forwarded to Bob. So, this kind of transmission of data happens uh, through internet. So, that be the, if there is an internet connection, so it, he, uh, Alice can communicate with WhatsApp server and the WhatsApp server can communicate to Bob by forwarding the message. So internet is something uh, which is a very open space. So anyone with the right tools and right knowledge can access your data and you can uh, you can overlook your private conversations. So WhatsApp provided uh, something called provides something called end-to-end -end encryption. So encryption is nothing but a technique which uses cryptographics, cryptography in, to attain certain level of security to the data which you are, which you send over internet. So what it does is that it encrypts it changes or alters the message you send using a key call, called up it may be uh, using a key and so the encrypted messages can be sent openly through I mean it can be sent through the open space of internet and any, even if the people are able to access the information they can't extract information because they need the specific set of keys to decrypt the messages and to read them so so this is how the encryption works so let's see like what can be what possible methods can be employed Okay, let's first uh, get down into what is end-to-end -end encryption. So end-to-end -end encryption, what is that uh, happens uh, like, so even the WhatsApp server doesn't or shouldn't know what messages are shared between or exchanged between Alice and Bob. So in order for, in order to achieve this, they has they have to establish a certain shared secret or shared key called KAB. A stands for Alice and B stands for Bob. So these are the two endpoints. So these two endpoints has to establish a, a shared secret or shared key called KAB through which they can establish a secure communication by encrypting their messages using this shared secret or KAB. So this, so in order for them to achieve uh, this kind of a shared secret, they use a something called Defi Hellman key exchange. So they exchange certain parts of their public and private keys that is KPB and KAPV and KBPB and KBPV. So they exchange parts of their public and private keys or they exchange part of their public keys and private keys in order to uh, attain or in order to establish a shared secret of KAB. So any message which Alice wants to send to Bob, he, he or she uses the shared secret to encrypt those messages. So which is only known to Alice and which is only known to Bob. So uh, even the WhatsApp server, so these messages will be sent over the WhatsApp server. Even the WhatsApp cannot access those information. And only Bob can decrypt and access those information. So this is known as end-to-end -end encryption. 
So only endpoints can encrypt or decrypt these messages. So it's known as end-to-end -end encryption. Okay, let's see. Like uh, uh, there has been an issue all around the world. Address recently. That is government of India, including government of India and governments all around the world are trying or trying to take down the end-to-end -end encryption service provided by WhatsApp. So why are they trying to doing that? Uh, it's mainly because there are several criminal activities going on behind the scenes using WhatsApp and other encrypted messaging services. So what uh, government all around the world are trying to say for security reasons, they need an over, they need to overlook the messages which is which is being exchanged between any two users through WhatsApp or through any messaging service. So they want WhatsApp to take down the end-to-end -end encryption or else they want WhatsApp to provide a backdoor. For example, instead of using a shared secret using the free key exchange or instead of using end-to-end -end encryption, they want the communication to still be secure by encrypting the messages between Alice and WhatsApp server and encrypting messages between WhatsApp server and Bob so that any messages over here can be overlooked by trusted agencies like government agencies. So this is what the government across the world are trying to achieve. But there are several uh, takedowns or several disadvantages for this. For example, if two persons want their privacy, even uh, well, like if two good persons want their privacy to be uphold, so this might not be a good uh, scenario. And also, if someone is able to take down this server or hack this server, WhatsApp server, they will be able to uh, dump each and every conversation made by Alice and Bob or several thousands and billions of users around the world into internet. So that is also be like, for example, if Alice sends a credit card information to Bob, so it will be out in the open. Anyone can access it if they're able to use that backdoor properly. And apart from this, uh, is there any, so th does this mean there's end-to-end encryption so you can communicate anything through WhatsApp and still be safe? No, that's not the case. Because even though the encryption is, as, as of today, it is very much strong and uh, it is very much effective and nobody has exploited it. We, should, we need to think about the endpoints. If they, any one of the endpoints is compromised, so the messages or the information passed can be accessed. For example, if Alice loses her mobile device to a person, anyone, a person who is physically in hold of her device with, the, with, uh, with an open device without any security measures, you can access all the, you can read all the messages. Or else, if any one of her, the devices has been hacked or compromised, uh, like bugged, they can also read those messages. So what we have to do is that we have to make sure that our devices uh, have the suitable operating systems and are protected with latest up-to-date security updates and antivirus softwares. And by this, we can ensure like it is a completely secure kind of messaging service. But in order to address the future concerns made by government, which is good in some scenarios and bad in most of the scenarios, people need to uh, vote or people need to express their reaction, uh, whether they need privacy, they need this end-to-end -end encryption, or whether they are willing to give up this kind of end-to-end -end secure private messaging service as per the government ask. So it stands into up to the decision of the users as well as whatsapp so hope you guys like this video and in the next video i will be explaining in the future videos i'll be explaining the defi helmet key exchange which is which plays a major role in public key cryptography of establishing a sad secret not only in whatsapp between in, in whatsapp uh, but also everywhere around the world so in the future videos we'll be able to see about defi helmet key exchange so hope you guys like this video Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Stay healthy, stay happy and have a great day. Thank you.